Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. This is Ms. Linda. Today, inshallah, we're going to uh, continue with the IP past paper uh, questions. Uh, we're going to solve question number 15 from the document. Here we have a graph that shows variation between current and voltage for two types of resistance. Resistor R and resistor T. As you see, R R is a straight line, so R obeys Ohm's law, while T, it's an ohmic component, doesn't obey Ohm's law. It's, it's a curve. Okay. State how the resistance T, the one does not obey Ohm's law, the non-ohmic resistance, varies with current. R obeys Ohm's law as I increase the current, voltage will increase, will increase or as I increase the voltage, the current will increase and I should get a straight line. Here, this one doesn't obey Ohm's law, which means if I increase the voltage, what will happen to the current and the resistance? Let's take values. Okay. For here, each square, I have one divided by five is two. So here in this direction, each a square will represent 1 over 5.2 and here 0.1 divided by 5 to give me 0 0.02 so this is each square so let's take voltage i'm going to make a table here v i and each time i'm going to calculate the current i'll take for example 2 and then and I can take five. Add two, <clears throat> add two here. What is the value of this uh, voltage? Here I have a three, a three times 0 0.02, so it's 0 0.06. Add three, let's go up here and read this value. So I have here 0.1 plus uh, 0.04, uh, so it's 0.14. Similarly, at five, go and read the value. So this value is 0.36. Each time I'm going to calculate R from Ohm's law. R, it's voltage divided by the current. V over I. So R, R equals V over I. So 2 divided by 0 0.06 will give me almost 33 ohm. 2 divided by 0.14, 3 divided by 0.14, 14 ohm. 5 divided by 0.36, 13.81. So as I increase the voltage, what will happen to the resistance? The resistance decrease. So the first one, how resistance varies with the current. Similarly, as I increase the current, the resistance will decrease. So this is part I. I, R, for resistance T, decreases with increasing the current with increasing the current okay deduce without a numerical calculation whether r or t has a greater resistance at the current point uh, 40 amp at 0.40 amp, let's clean this one. Okay, so here we'll go and make a line that hit the uh, curve T and read the value of the voltage. Okay, so the value for the voltage 
V of T, it's 5.2. V for T, it's 5.2. Now V for R, how much? Okay, V for R. V for R, let's go hit this one and read the value. It's 5.6, 5.6. So V of R, it's greater than V of T or V of T is less than V of R. And we know from the equation from Ohm's law, R equals V divided by T. If I increase the voltage, the resistance will decrease and vice versa. If I decrease the voltage, the resistance will decrease. That means the resistance for T, the resistance of T should less than, should be less than the resistance of R. Okay. Second part of the question. Here you have the component of R and T. Okay, remember, R obeys Ohm's law, while T doesn't obey Ohm's law. This is non-ohmic resistance, and this is ohmic resistance. Ohmic resistance, the relationship between current and voltage should be straight line, as in case of R. Now, if connect them with uh, a potential divider or uh, variable resistance, X and Y, if I change the pointer, the position of the pointer, I'm going to change the value of the resistance R, this variable resistance, whether I increase it or decrease it. When I play with the resistance, I'm actually playing with the current. Either I increase the current or decrease the current depends on where this uh, pointer should be. So I have a slider Z of the potential meter is, po is moved from Y all the way till X. So I'm increasing the value of this, the whole resistance. If I increase the value of the resistance, I'm decreasing the current. If the, the resistance is extremely high, that means the current will be zero. So state what happened to the magnitude of the current of the emitter, of the uh, emitter, the current will be zero. So the current I will become zero. Why? Because R here, R is maximum at position X, R is maximum. Now the tricky here, I'm, I'm trying my best to solve, um, to, to solve most of the question that has a trick in them. So this is one of the tricky questions here, estimate. With an explanation, the voltmeter reading, when the meter reads 0.2 amp, Many students, they will go to 0.2 amp, okay, and they will read the value of the voltage, but re remember, R and T, they're different resistance. One is ohmic, obey Ohm's law, and the other one doesn't obey Ohm's law. So I'm going to calculate this, uh, I'm going to solve this question. I'm going to look for two values for the current because the total current when it come, when it pass through these two resistors, they're connected in parallel. So the total value of current I will be split to I1 and I2. If I add them, if I add I1 plus I2, I should get the value of 0.2. So I will look at two values that give me 0.2 and what will be this voltage? Because this is two resistors connected in parallel. They should have the same voltage, not different voltage, not different value of voltage. Remember, parallel have the same voltage, but the current is split. So the voltage across VR should be equal to the voltage across VT. But the current, if you add them, it should give you 0.2. So if I, if I take two points, if I take <coughs> this point here, here, this is point, let's just get, uh, erase this one. Okay. 
I'm going to take point point o six. This one point o six. Okay. And and the other one point fourteen. Point fourteen one and two here. This one point fourteen. Both of them, if I add them, it should give me 0.2. Both of them, they will meet at the same voltage. Both of them, they meet at the same voltage, which is 2. So, what is the values of the current? So, the current, this is how we're going to do it. Okay, so I will equal... I one plus I two point fourteen plus point or six. It will give me point two the total current, and this will happen at voltage V two volt. So estimate with an explanation the voltmeter reading when the ammeter reads point two. The voltmeter reading will be. 2 volt and it should be the same voltage because these two resistors are connected in parallel connection in parallel they should have the same voltage okay that's it we'll continue inshallah next time with the rest of the questions